There we are folks with match number 46, Panama up against Tunisia. Panama will start the match with Calderon in goal, Torres, Baloy, Davis, Gomez, Quintaro, Godoy, Bastinas, Cooper, Torres and Perez up front. As for Tunisia, Malafoui, Yusuf, Chema, Maloy, Ayudi, Sassi, Amor, Kazari, Kalati, Masani, or Masanki and Yusuf up front. So here we are folks with both teams have got the possibility of making themselves go through to the second round that's how uh, how tight this is tunisia in uh, green and red panama in the all red jerseys i believe so this match is match number 46 and it will take place the 20th of june and it will go and it will be held at the mordovia arena in saranisk and it will take place exactly the same time as the England versus Belgium game. Uh, if you've yet to find out the result, England were beaten by Belgium 2-0 in our simulation of that match. Now, what does that mean for these two sides here? Currently, Belgium top the pops with nine points. England are, well, technically they are second, but they're not really because they've got a negative one goal difference. So Panama are second. So a draw for Panama and a win for Panama will see them go through. That's it, folks. But if Tunisia were to win by two goals to nil, then it gets really complicated. Panama will drop down out of the automatic playoff spot. So we have a goal, folks. We have a goal. And I believe it's Tunisia have opened up the scoring. My, 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 my head is starting to hurt with these mathematic issues we've got going on. It's Masanki for Tunisia has given themselves a glimmer of hope of qualifying. So that will put Panama down to negative one. But they still would have the edge over England because of the head-to-head -head encounter. Yes, it is, does get complicated. And Tunisia will be on negative two. So... Another goal for Tunisia will then push England back up to second spot uh, and Tunisia will be in third. And the reason with that would be because of the head-to-head -head encounter between Tunisia and England. If you're with me. Hopefully you're with me. Now, this match itself is the first encounter of Panama versus Tunisia. So, they would, you know, you would say it, it's, it's a pretty even affair. We'll go through the results thus far in this tournament. But if you are new to the channel, you will, uh, I would like to let you know that we play two four-minute halves in these uh, emulated uh, FIFA 95 simulations. Uh, and also, if you like what you see, you might as well hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all my retro uh, FIFA 95 simulations and also my other World Cup content which it will come in thick and fast on the channel and look at that Tunisia really piling on the pressure again a second goal for Tunisia would see them uh, leapfrog over Panama and England will go back into second spot so right now as it stands Panama are still going through yes it's true 2-0 would see England through. 3-0 would see Tunisia through. So uh, what what is confirmed is Belgium, champions of this group. Group G. And they, he, they will play the runner-up of Group H. And we don't know anything about that game or that situation because those matches have yet to be played. Tunisia, though, will be looking to get at least a couple more goals to keep their dream alive. Just think, a team that has only won the one game could go through. Tunisia long ball punt down the field. Can they get the end of it? No, they can't. Good effort once again. Panama keeper is down to the ground. Shoot! 
Shoot! And that is the end of the first half. Panama nil. Tunisia won. So Tunisia will get the second half underway. They have their noses in front, but right now it's not enough. It's not enough. They need two more goals. England want to see them score just the one goal. Panama, right now they're through. A draw would also see them through, so if they were to get a goal, it would seal the deal without any mathematical issues whatsoever. And Tunisia on the defence now. But they get the ball back, long ball forward. Headed on. Tunisia. This would add to the already major upsets in this World Cup if Tunisia or Panama were to go through to the next round. We also already lost Argentina. We've already lost Brazil. And we've already lost, who else did we lose? Portugal. Um, early doors. Germany. They, they, they threw as group winners, I believe. Or were they? I can't remember. I can't remember, there's so many games going on. But they were, they suffered a defeat to South Korea, quite embarrassing to be 3 0 too. So the only team that seems to be progressing well are Spain and France. And that was a good effort by Panama to uh, level the scores. But still, as it stands, they're doing enough, or they've done enough, to get themselves through to the second round. But still, there's time. There's about two minutes and a bit left. Let's go recap some of the. The highlights or the results thus far. Oh my goodness gracious. Tunisia have now taken a two goal lead. Which means as it stands. England will go through to the knockouts. <laughs> yeah. It's it's Masanki once again. It's a second and another screamer. This it does give you a headache. And why do, so why does this, why would a 2-0 make England go through? England, uh, they opened up their scoring with a 2-0 win, a crucial 2-0 win over Tunisia. Then they lost to Panama, 1-0. And then they lost to Belgium, 2-1. So that gives them a negative one goal difference with three points. But importantly, a win over Tunisia. Now Tunisia will win, should they win here? With this current scoreline. They would have lost to England, which was a negative two goal difference. Then they would have taken on Belgium and lost to Belgium, which makes it a negative three goal difference with no points. Finally, a win here up against Panama would give them three points plus the two goals, which would be a negative one goal difference. But they would have had that head-to-head -head encounter with England and they would have lost it, which would mean that England would be top uh, would have enough points on the board and all that kind of business to um, oust them from their second spot. As for Panama, they've also got the three points currently. Uh, they opened up with a 1-0 loss to Belgium, hence negative one. Then they won against England, which brought them level. Uh, but currently now they are negative two goal difference with three points on the board. Negative two goal difference. England have negative one. So, yeah. It is it is though very tight. And it's going down to the last minute. And we have a quarter for Panama. Our goal here would change everything. And send Panama back up. And now, here come Tunisia. A goal for them would see them through. So, a 3-0 victory would be enough to really turn this table upside down. Headed on. They are down to the last minute of the game. Panama now despite their heroics against England. Looking like they are going out. But one more goal in this match, either way, will send it completely bonkers. And one of the, oh my god, that was a big fat OG as we're going into the last 30 seconds of this match. England hold their breath as they try to do enough, even though they're not even playing. Panama strikes. Oh, if that goal had gone in, Panama would be going through. Belgium are just sitting back and relaxing. They're just taking it easy. Last 10 seconds as it stands. England are going through. Panama, frustrating times. Tunisia, also frustrating times. And we are into added time. And it's looking like England are going through. And it is Tunisia 2, Panama 0. So just a quick, quick recap of the uh, major talking points. Four shots on target for Panama. No 
goals as whereas Tunisia had three shots and two of them were in the back of the net. One corner for Panama. As for the goal scorers, Masanki with a daily double. One on the first, first minute and 20 seconds. The second, five minutes, 27 seconds. As for the discipline, no players in the books whatsoever. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.